Welcome to another video edition of Mortini on Management. I'm Phil Mortini, President of PGM Consulting, a management consultancy and interim management firm focused on software-based businesses. Today's topic is five ways to evaluate whether your company has a winning culture. I recently finished reading Bill and Dave by Michael Malone, which is the story of how Bill Hewlett and Dave Packard built HP into a wildly successful company during their tenure. Full disclosure, I'm a big fan of, of Bill and Dave and what they built and also a, a former HP employee. Anyway, it got me thinking about the importance of a winning corporate culture in building a sex, successful technology company. And the culture built by Bill and Dave, which was known as the HP way, was probably the single most important factor in the success of HP during their long tenure at the firm. There are many other examples of successful corporate cultures that don't resemble HPs at all. IBM in the same time frame comes to mind with a much more hierarchical, staid, button-down corporate culture, but they were no less successful in that period. So what's the best way to measure whether or not you've got a great corporate culture, given that there really isn't any uniformity among the notable examples? Here's my list of five key attributes to tell whether you have a great technology company culture. Number one, the employees want to stay. This may be the best indicator of a winning corporate culture. Now you might say, well, that could be indicative of a country club atmosphere with very high compensation and low demands. But in high performing companies, you really don't see that very often. In fact, it really is human nature to feel the grass is greener and long to go somewhere else. Number two, the best people rise to the top. This is another very key indicator of a corporate culture clicking on all cylinders. The best people have the ability to actually drive operating results in addition to the political skills to win the internal meeting. A corporate culture that identifies, retains, and promotes the highest performing, most well-rounded leaders is well on its way to a very successful run. Number three, opinions flow freely without retribution. I'll have to admit, this isn't a hard and fast rule. I've seen some very successful, old-style, hierarchical companies where the opinions mostly flow downhill. But I do think that it's a very common attribute among successful, modern technology companies. Number four, employees speak well of the company to outsiders. Even in good companies, employees love to bitch about their jobs. It's only in the very best companies where you hear employees consistently speak well about their place of work to people on the outside. Number five, you don't have to overpay to attract top talent. You could view this as the downstream result of excellence in the previous four categories. If you have a winning corporate culture, you won't have to work very hard to find people. In fact, they'll be beating down your door to come to your company to work. As a result, you won't have to set the market in terms of compensation, but only be in the ballpark, whereas other companies may have to overpay to get the very best talent. That's my view of the five important indicators to tell whether or not your technology company has a winning corporate culture. I'd love to hear your opinions, so leave a comment or contact us using the information following this presentation or visit our website. That's it for now. We'll look forward to seeing you for future software and hardware industry management topics in another edition of Mortini on Management.